Hi, and welcome back to linuxstudyguide.com videos. Here is an intro to Linux command line. Basically, I just want to give you a rundown on some basic command line commands that are used to get around in Linux, just navigate the basis of it. Um, what you're seeing now is just the desktop, but actually, the real Linux, well, not the real Linux, this is real Linux, but the main Linux that is pretty much the same on every version of Linux, so it's used commonly, is in a terminal command line view. To get there, you click on activities, you go to applications, system tools, and down here is a terminal. This just opens up a black screen, um, white screen for this version, but usually it's a black screen, and it has this little, th little icon waiting for input. So one of the very first commands that you will need to know is PWD, or print working directory. So it does exactly what it says. It prints your working directory. So it's home forward slash ray. So that means we are currently located in the home slash ray. That's where we're working at right now in command line. The next command is ls. It just displays what's in your working directory. So inside ray, we have the folder desktop, documents, downloads, music, pictures, public templates, and videos. You can know their, um, their folders by being because they're blue. That's what that color means. So going even more into that, you can do a ls-a. So let's try that. This is ls-a is all. So everything in this side, even hidden files, um, pretty much everything. I use this a lot when I wanted to go into system files, which are done by the dot right there. You know, it's a system file if it has the period. Um, it's a folder because it's blue, yet again. Um, you can see if there's cookies, like X session errors. I mean, another great command is say you want to know, okay, well, I don't really want to be in Ray. Maybe there's some other folder inside the home directory. Let's go ahead and do that. So you can just type ls dot dot, I believe. And it, nope, that's the only thing that's in that home directory is the Ray folder. So inside home, the only other folder is Ray. So that's what that dot dot did. It just said go backwards. And that's dot dot is used for other commands too. So the next command I want to go ahead and show you is CD. It says changes directory. So CD, um, let's try it with the dot dot we just talked about. All right, so now if we do a PWD, print working directory, you see we're just in the home directory, no longer in the Ray directory because CD, we changed the directory and the dot dot was going backwards. So if we do CD and then R and then hit your tab key, it actually auto completes the next command. Boom, so now we're in the Ray directory. We can confirm that by once again, PWD. See, that's pretty useful. So what about if we wanna make a directory inside my folder? It's actually pretty simple and it's pretty straightforward. MKDIR. So it's MK stands for make and DIR stands for directory. So let's make a directory called silly. Now if we do an LS again, we should see a new folder called boom, silly. Got it. So if we want to go in and navigate into silly, let's go ahead and do that. CD silly, print working directory we can see we are now in the folder silly. Pretty awesome. Now, we have the, the silly created, but let's go ahead and get rid of it, because say we wanted to make it funny instead. So first, let's get back out of it. So we do cd dot dot to back up, and then we can do rmdir. So rm, of course, stands for remove, and dir stands for directory. So remove silly. Boom. And we can confirm with an ls, silly is no longer there. PWD, boom. Oh, I also forgot to mention this little symbol right here. You see that? That means you're in your home directory. That's what that is saying. So whenever you see that, you know you're actually in the slash home slash your um, profile name, which is Ray for me. All right, so let's go ahead and learn about how to play with a file a little bit. I'm actually going to go ahead and go back to my activities we'll do this through the windowed mode just because I want to say VI which is a popular text editor in the command line view for its own video. It's pretty complicated but it's fun. 
it's fun to get used to and a lot of people actually like it so we can go ahead and use gedit for just trying this out so we're going to make a file we'll call this fun times and we're going to save that we'll save it in our documents folder actually I'm going to just save it right in there we'll save this as fun one alright we got fun one created so if we go back to our command line ls we got c fun one and it's in black which means hey it is a file so we can go ahead and play with this file a little bit first off you can copy that file copy fun one and then you can let's make a new one let's call this fun two so since fun2 wasn't there, it, it should have created it. We can confirm by doing another ls. Oh, there's fun2. Oh, but we don't really want that. So we can go ahead and type remove fun2. And if you look in ls, it's gone. So it's simple as that. rm fun2. To copy, it's just cp. And there you go. Pretty easy stuff. I hope this was informative and I hope these basic commands will help you get through Linux and I hope you have a great day.